viewer discretion is advised. It puzzles me as to why people would trust anyone to chaperone, watch, be over their children. Back when I was growing up, people that we knew that did not have good sense, those people would not be in charge of anything, not even themselves, because we knew that they would harm themselves and anyone around them. I think that people that are mentally unstable should not be allowed to reproduce. These people that are today killing children, what type of behavior did these people have as children? Most parents with children that have mental disabilities, they try to cover it up, try to present the child as if they are normal. The child grows up to be a menace to society, actually. What I have noticed about the recent killings of children by their step-parents is that the mother appears to have low self-esteem. And the guys that they choose to date have no self-esteem. Brittany Bowens has low self-esteem. Not because she's a big girl, but because she lacks confidence. Maybe she was talked about as a child. So now she tries to doll herself up, look cute, glamour shots, because she has low self-esteem. This little precious child, 18 months old, Cedric Jackson, his aunt's boyfriend killed this child. Now what is going on with that? CPS took Cedric Jackson from his mother and placed him with his aunt, Crystal Jackson. And Crystal Jackson already has a house full of children. Plus, the guy that she's dating, the one that killed Cedric, has a terrible criminal record, which includes child abandonment. Why did C CPS allow this child to stay with the aunt? Because the aunt lied. Women always want to cover up for these monsters that they date, that they love so much, and always cost somebody their life. And in the end, they got their head down looking for sympathy. That aunt, because she's a liar, she lied and said that the man came in the house and took the baby from her while the baby was sleeping next to her. I do not believe that. Because you are a weak woman and you let this man take the child out of the house. This big ugly fool that she dates wrapped the child up so tight that it basically suffocated the child. And he said that is not the first time he has done that. But as usual, these big, ugly, insecure Low self-esteem having women sit back and do nothing. Turns a blind eye. Every time. Nobody sleeps that hard where someone could come and sneak in my room and take a baby because every time that baby moves, I'm waking up. I mean, what was this woman? High or drunk? Crystal Jackson is nothing but a liar. She originally said that the step-grandfather took the child. This man got arrested. Come to find out, 
It was her boyfriend, the son of the grandfather. So Crystal Jackson is nothing but a liar, and she needs to be in prison. She's a co-conspirator of anything. And the mother, I just can't let her off the hook because of the simple fact that, is that CPS was involved in her life. What the hell were you doing for CPS to be involved in your life? The child is only 18 months old. What the hell were you doing? People today want to have children but we refuse to accept the responsibility of caring for the child. I have noticed that with these unexperienced mothers, the first child catches hell because the mother doesn't know what she's doing and she doesn't want to listen. She's easily frustrated, thinks the child is ready for college in two weeks. Now this punk got mad at the baby because he weighs some damn ketchup. The child is 18 months. What did they do? Told the child, hey, go give me some ketchup. And the child wasted. And you want to get mad at the child? Get your lazy ass up and get your own. People think children are their servants. And then get mad because the child is uncoordinated, drops it, or wasted. You want to get mad and beat the hell out of the child. It's just sad because little Cedric and little Malia lost their lives because their parents did not want to take care of their business. The big, ugly, maggot punk that killed this child, he's in prison. He's going to get healed. But the aunt, they should be getting her a spin number ready to put her behind in jail as well. CPS, for some reason, took the child from the mother and placed it with the aunt, thinking that the child would have safety there. But again, there was no safety. The child ended up dead. And it's just a damn shame. And I said, that aunt, Crystal Jackson, that woman needs to be in prison. She needs to be beaten because she was so damn careless and didn't give a damn about her nephew. What she really cared about was that punk that killed his child. That's where her love goes. Compared to Malia Davis's case, this case is pretty simple. They have the body. The guy confessed, not to Cornell Lakes, but to the police. There are witnesses, so I am pretty sure that this will be a speedy trial. There are no excuses the deranged lunatic Cedric Johnson can give for killing the child over ketchup. Was the child hungry? If someone was supervising the child, the child would not have been able to get into the ketchup packages. If you have children in the house and you want to keep them from getting into mischief, what you have to do is watch the children and make sure that they don't get into mischief. You cannot take your eyes off of them because they are children. They move around. But just because a child gets into mischief, that should not be a death warrant. These precious babies have lost their lives. And the people that kill these children should not be allowed to go to prison and live out theirs. Chris and Christie, Cedric Johnson was found dead after confessing to removing the little boy from his aunt's apartment and putting him in a dumpster. Still, there are several pieces of this puzzle for investigators to figure out. Though police believe this Rowlett landfill was the final resting place of a missing Dallas toddler, questions remain about how 18-month-old Cedric Jackson died. 
It was just two months before that CPS had moved the toddler from his mother to his aunt's home, the same Lake Highlands apartment where an arrest affidavit states he was swaddled tightly on the floor. His aunt's boyfriend, Cedric Johnson, told police it was something he'd done before after the toddler, quote, made a mess by getting into some ketchup packets. But Tuesday night, Johnson said the boy stopped breathing, and after 30 or so minutes of CPR didn't work, Johnson confessed to taking him to a dumpster. What went wrong? Where was there a mistake? Former Collin County Judge Chris Olner has heard similar cases and says Johnson's lengthy criminal history, ranging from assault to child abandonment, raises a red flag. So there had to be either some deception in misrepresentation about who was living in the home and or what their background was, or uh, somebody dropped the ball with the department in the placement. I don't see that happening. It's such a standard, straightforward protocol to ask that question. He says the next step is figuring out how to keep another child from suffering the same fate. Now, another question in all of this is how much the toddler's aunt knew. According to the affidavit, she and another child originally told police they saw a different relative in the apartment before Cedric Jackson disappeared. But then when they were later interviewed, both said Johnson had been in the home before disappearing with the toddler. Chris. CBS 11's Nicole Jacobs is live outside the Lake Highlands Recreation Center where the vigil will be held. Nicole. Russ, it's hard to fathom how someone could hurt and ultimately kill an innocent 18-month-old baby. But tonight, the community will try to make sense of their emotions with a candlelight vigil and a balloon release. The face of C.J. Jackson, that unsuspecting, innocent little face, Sadly, he would only grace this earth for 18 months. This is about the outcome we had hoped for. Dallas police delivering the gut-punching news Thursday. Not only was CJ's body discovered in this Rowlett landfill, but it was at the hands of someone he knew. We have arrested Cedric Johnson, a black male, 27 years of age. Cedric Johnson is the boyfriend of CJ's aunt, the same aunt his mother willingly gave temporary custody of the child, Johnson was at her apartment at the time of the kidnapping, police learned. And then came this confession. We questioned Mr. Johnson, who then confessed that he had taken Cedric from the apartment and placed him in a dumpster. The FBI, Dallas police, and firefighters searched the landfill and found CJ's remains late Thursday morning. Currently, we do not have a motive for this crime. It has not been established yet as to when or how... Cedric has died. No motive, but a clear trend of child endangerment, as indicated by a previous arrest. In fact, according to an arrest warrant, Johnson told police he would swaddle CJ so tightly at times to restrict his movement. That was done once when the 18-month-old made a mess with ketchup packets. He swaddled him again Tuesday, but early Wednesday, CJ was wrapped. He started making noise. He threw up and then became unresponsive. Johnson is charged with injury to a child and serious bodily injury. Dallas police say there could be more charges depending upon the outcome of CJ's autopsy. We're live in Dallas. Nicole Jacobs, CBS 11 News.